through to the semi-finals, Brian, what are your thoughts after that? Yeah, pretty good on that. They're uh, they're uh, they're a good team, Lee, aren't they? You know, and can play. I've got some form behind. They've got some momentum coming into this game, and uh, I've got a lot of players in their team. I've got Super League experience. I think the gap between uh, the top championship teams and and Super League teams is as close as it's ever going to get. You know, probably not ever going to get, but ever has been for for a while. So. Uh, all things being equal, the form we're, we're in at the moment, some of the injuries that we've got, some of the injuries that we incurred again tonight, three blokes came off the field and, and didn't return within, I think, the first 25 minutes. It was real early in the game. Uh, yeah, pretty solid performance. Uh, tough, tough performance. Some toughness we've shown, which uh, we probably hadn't been showing just in recent weeks. How pivotal was the first sending off, as far as you're concerned? Of course, that would have affected Lee, absolutely. Yeah, that... The dynamic of their team changed dramatically. He's, you know, you could argue he's been one of their best performers so far this year, and uh, the fact that he he left the field made it an easier day for us. Well, yeah, absolutely, no drama admitting that. Was it standing on? Uh, look, I, I'll say this: I don't think Kieran Patel coaches that. I don't think Kieran Curran, you know, as a, you know, the bloke who's influencing their football department as well, wants to see that. I don't think their club. You know, coaches, any type of that. I don't even think the player meant to do it. <laughs> he throws him over his shoulder and lands on his head. So, uh, yeah, it's a send off. It was a big decision for the referee early on. Did you get the strong referee that you'd asked for in the week? Did you feel? Uh, yeah. Are you trying to tell me that I was saying that before the game to influence the referee? No. Is that what you're trying to imply? No. But did you feel he was. Strong enough for the. I didn't think. I didn't think Lee played grubby. I think we've had some games against Lee in the uh, in uh, in recent seasons where you know, especially the 2014 Challenge Cup, which is a few years ago now. You know, but the, you watch Lee, and I've been watching Lee <coughs> and taking note of Lee of, of being one of the strong contenders from the division, division below. You watch them and see that they're uh, they're a very enthusiastic, aggressive team, and you know, some of it's within the laws of the game and. Um, but they haven't been like that for a while. Derek Bowman, Derek Bowman just accosted me out there and reminded me that they're not that type of team. Uh, I agree. I agree they're not. And they weren't that type of team tonight. Uh, but for the final 10 minutes of the game, it started to get a little bit like that. It started to get a bit a bit old school. Uh, which, But credit to them for the first 70 odd minutes, they weren't like that. It wasn't an issue. How bad are the injuries that you've picked up tonight? Uh, Matt Parcell should be right next week with his concussion. Uh, uh, but uh, Carl Ablett and Jimmy Karen also have got some tears. I don't know to what degree. Calf tear for Carl and a hammy for Jimmy Kerr. Jimmy Kerr is blaming the pass from Richie Miles, so it's Richie Miles' fault. <laughs> so that'll do a couple of weeks. How tough was it to have just one player on the, the bench? I don't know. You better go ask Cuthbert, Mull, and, uh, and uh, Mikolai. Because it's them three that we're doing all the game time. Uh, been really impressed with Mikolai Lesky. He's, uh, he's managing some tired moments. Here. So it's okay when you're on top and you slide a, a young fella in your team, a young big man. And I've been talking about how that, he as a big man can handle certain things in the field. But when you find out what they're truly like in adversity and when you're on the back foot, and uh, there were some tough moments out there for Mikolai tonight and pushed through it. I thought Moore was very good and I thought Cuthbert provided the team with a version of a, of a game that probably not what he wants to do. He wants to play a bit more free than that, but he provided the team with what they needed, so credit to them. Uh, but I thought Hawley and Tom Briscoe had some hard yards to do tonight. And uh, as a team performance, collective team performance, that was pretty good. How does it feel to be in the semis? Yeah, it's good, it's good, it's good. I get excited, I will get excited. I probably don't look excited right now, but I'm looking at my team and I'm wondering what my team's gonna be like next week, so. Uh, it's brilliant, you know, we're in the semis and that means we're 18 minutes away from Wembley and uh, it's exciting. This is exciting. Callum Smith's first try seems to be getting better every week. Yes, uh, yep, you've got to live it with them and you put the young fellas in and uh, I've been saying for a while, even though some of the, the losses that we've been having this year have been heartbreaking for some of them, you know, really narrow, tight losses, it is... Uh, there are some positives in it. I mean, Cam's been experiencing some moments where he's getting better. Uh, as I've already said, Mikolai's getting better. Josh Walters has found some form again for us. Ash Hanley looks a really good player there in the centres. Uh, 
Jack Walker, I just thought was brilliant for the first little bit. You know, he's everything that you want to have a fullback. Ash Golding goes at nine for a while and doesn't look out of place. Uh, probably missing another young fella. But uh, you got some blokes there who were all very, very young, all been through some adversity with this club. A lot of them went through 2016 with us. Uh, and to play out of our environment, you've got to give Leeds Rhinos as a club some credit as well because you know, to stage a fixture, a home fixture somewhere else. We've already done it twice at Ellen Road, you know, to do it at Featherstone's ground in reasonable short notice. We didn't find this out until we were drawn in the cup. So, you know, credit to the club and everybody involved with the club to make this tonight happen. But, you know, to play here and be under pressure and, you know, to add some adversity through injuries and have the young fellas step up and secure the game for you, it's, uh, it's pretty good.